Hi, this is the Cybersecurity Graybeard, self-described again. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, before I get into a topic on social media do's and don'ts, I wanted to go ahead and uh, thank you all again for watching and suggest if you don't hop on YouTube, check out my podcast. And if you do YouTube and you're not on the podcast, then uh, check me out on YouTube. Uh, my podcast can now be found through the Apple Podcast system as well as Spotify and TuneIn, and I'm working on getting expanded even further. Um, I want to talk about the social media do's and don'ts. Uh, we all use social media and have for, boy, going on a decade now, if not longer. And what I've seen professionally are some actions <clears throat> and activities that are beyond questionable just to don't do it. And so I thought it'd be a good idea to share some of these experiences. Um, I'll even tie in some real world uh, items that, uh, that will go with it uh, as to how to show up at work, what to wear, uh, etc. So first of all, uh, I want to start with Facebook and uh, you always need to be aware that people can see things that you don't know they can see. And it is extremely important to understand the privacy settings in Facebook, how to configure them, and even when they're locked down as tight as possible, understand that your profile pictures are always out there. No matter what your privacy is, any profile picture you've ever used through the history of Facebook is open searchable. So an example that I have for this is an individual went to a gun range with a teenage daughter and took a picture and set that as the profile. And in the future, when people were searching this person either for fun or doing a background check or whatnot, even though uh, the individual in question had locked down Facebook as tight as possible, that picture still showed up. And with the sensitivities around um, gun violence today uh, and opinions running uh, pretty hot on it, that individual put themselves at risk for not getting a job because of being uh, a gun advocate. Uh, another example, um, and this was actually me in person, I was wearing a, a political sweatshirt on a, a Friday, this is over a decade ago, and it was innocuous to me. I mean, I saw a political sweatshirt just like I see um, a sports jersey, you know, a Vikings jersey, a Redskins jersey, a, a Nuggets jersey. It's just, it's an opinion. It's my team. It's who I like. Um, and I walked into an executive's office and just got ripped into. I didn't know where it was coming from. I didn't even think about it. And so that helped me realize that not only do I need to be careful with my social media, but also the way that it is in real life. So again, with Facebook, <clears throat> lock down your settings um, and be smart about what you're posting. Um, a couple other things about Facebook while I'm at it. Uh, a mentee of mine actually uh, just joined a large company and he's a developer and he recently put up a, a video of some development work and at first I was concerned that this work was business related and for the company and you never post on social media work you do this was on LinkedIn and it turned out that it was personal stuff and he was totally fine uh, I recommended you know notate this as personal so people don't get confused and think that you're a new developer for this mega corporation and you're posting their work on your LinkedIn site so be very careful about that um, in the past, I actually had another individual that worked for me. Uh, he was working at a client's data center, and this really happened. He took pictures inside the data center and showed the work that he was doing, and then he put those up on Facebook for anybody to see that was in his friends list or friends of friends or however he had his privacy settings. So these are a few examples of you know, understanding that what you put out there is going to be seen by others, and you need to be very careful about what you put up there. Um, when you're posting, and I'll get into Instagram and Twitter in a moment, but whenever you post, look at the post from the perspective of somebody from my generation, Gen X, or even beyond me, my parents' generation, baby boomers. We don't all see things the same way. So I'm going to shift a little bit to Instagram and talk about um, photographs that are put up there. We all go on vacation. We have great times, and um, we like to just share that, put it out there. That's why we do it. Uh, my father always was confused why he go to a baseball game with my cousin and all they're doing is spending time on their phone. And I said, because they're sharing the experience with their friends and other family members. Totally legitimate. It's just important to be careful with what you're sharing. Um, quite often people will be at parties and they'll be taking pictures. Um, some of them are risque and maybe it's not you as the employee in a risque environment, but you're or being risque, but you're in the risque environment. Um, alcohol, drugs, sex. These are all things that are a normal part of our private lives and need to remain a part of the private life. Otherwise, you risk alienating yourself professionally. So be very thoughtful about what you post and where you post it. 
Um, Snapchat, I only know a little bit about that medium with the photos dropping off after 24 hours unless you're posting it on your story. Um, I think that's how it goes. You're okay-ish. I still say if you don't want your mom seeing it, then don't put it out there. Um, tattoos, I know with the uh, culture it's changing, but some people are, are, are not as uh, forgiving especially if they're visible. Uh, if they don't know about it, out of sight, out of mind, that's okay. But it's important to understand that when you post publicly these photos, these videos, these statements, these comments that can be seen by a professional, uh, by a prospective employer or by employees, I mean, you want to maintain the respect of those that work for you uh, and those that you work with. Um, some may see things the way you do, but not everybody does. And while we all surround ourselves, for the most part, with like-minded individuals, in the workforce, that is not always the case. People will see things differently. So again, um, with Instagram, uh, the photos, be very careful about the risque uh, aspect of it. And as with Facebook, lock down the privacy uh, as best you can and realize things can get out. I mean, if you take a picture and in the background there's a, a drug table, if you will, uh, you, you need to be really careful. Edit it. Take it down. Whatever. Um, I know it sounds silly. I know these things may sound like common sense. Uh, and I've learned in my many years that common sense to one is not common sense to all. Uh, the next one that I want to talk about is it's really the worst. And I deleted it a couple years ago. I will not touch Twitter. Uh, I see some value to it, but careers have been ruined by Twitter. Uh, there's a well-known story about a, um, a, a media personality where she posted something on Twitter. Uh, she thought it was a snarky, cute comment, uh, comeback. She got on an international flight, flew to Africa. She got off the plane. Everything had blown up. She was pilloried and drugged through the mud. Uh, she was terminated, and it took her years to get her reputation and her career back from something that she thought was some innocuous, funny comment. Uh, in today's day and age, uh, people are very sensitive about things, rightfully or wrongfully. I'm not making a judgment. However, we have seen it. If you look at Kathy Griffin, I think was her name, the, the redheaded actress who took a picture with a severed head of the president, uh, she still can't find work. Um, politicians have been destroyed by photos. If you look at Senator Al Franken, uh, his, his terrible picture. Um, and then people post things in the heat of the moment, and you should never do anything in the heat of the moment. Uh, think about it. Be calm. Be thoughtful. Uh, but Twitter is, is a very, very dangerous medium that has cost a lot of people uh, a lot of respect and a lot of, uh, a lot of reputational damage. Reputations are extremely difficult to build and very easy to destroy. So be ultra cautious of Twitter. Um, I, like I said, I had a couple of accounts and I just I deleted it. I didn't see any value. So for those that use it, great. Enjoy it and be very careful. Uh, the last one that I wanted to talk about was LinkedIn. This is professionally a fantastic medium, just like Facebook can be. Uh, Facebook, though, has our personal side, and it shows you know the politics and the dangers of that. LinkedIn is completely different. LinkedIn should only be used for business. You should only be dealing with professional compo comments and, and components. Uh, you know, talk about CISSP. Talk about what you're doing daily. Uh, share. Uh, I use it quite a bit and I hope that you all uh, you know reach out and connect to me uh, on, on LinkedIn. Uh, I think if you search cybersecurity graybeard you could find me if not then uh, you could be pretty creative and you'll probably find out who I am anyway. Um, but LinkedIn keep it professional. I've seen sometimes where people get political on there not a good idea. You just don't want to do it especially because who you're connected to are your business associates. So the last thing I want to conclude with is I've actually published a couple of articles. One was on privacy, and that's at Security Intelligence from IBM. And that the second one has to do with how Facebook is a parent's best friend. I wrote that when my children were teenagers uh, a few years ago. It's actually quite interesting. You could kind of turn it around and say that Facebook is an employer's best friend if you want to look at it from that perspective. And if you look at it from that perspective, it may help you understand why I say to be very careful about what you uh, what you put out there on Facebook. So again, be cautious on Facebook. Be very careful on Instagram with the pictures. Snapchat, because of its format, from what I understand, it's not quite as as risky LinkedIn keep it professional only and always and Twitter stay away or be extremely methodical and careful with what you post um, I'm gonna go ahead and put links for my two articles in the comments and I hope you find this valuable and I look forward to talking to you next time bye bye